Hi students, welcome to the church as God's agent of transformation here at the Masters in Transformational Ministry at Point University. I wanna take just a few minutes to walk through the shape of the class overall. You can follow along in the syllabus, which is downloadable from the Sakai website. First off, let's start with the textbooks. We have three that we'll be reading through sequentially throughout the course. First is Resident Aliens by Stanley Hauerwas and Will Williman. Stanley Hauerwas is perhaps the most famous North American living theologian today and has taught for several decades at Duke University. Uh, because of his prolific work, we'll also be able to supplement the book with some of his lectures and speeches that are available online. It's a very engaging, readable text with lots of practical examples. You're gonna be challenged by Howard Wass's work. Uh, secondly, a book called Kingdom Conspiracy by Scott McKnight. And if you'll notice the subtitle, it says Returning to the Radical Mission of the Local Church. Scott McKnight is also a seminary professor and yet he has a passion for seeing vibrant and healthy local churches and in this book, he really doubles down on what it means to be a missional church and how the story of redemption in the Bible should be the very core of any church's mission. Uh, this one is a little bit more theological than the other two books, but it doesn't sacrifice practical examples. And finally, the most practical of the three is Gabe Lyons' The Next Christians, Seven Ways You Can Live the Gospel and Restore the World. Gabe Lyons is a well-known media figure now who has spoken out uh, on behalf of young Christians and done a lot of very high-level research on how non-Christians are thinking about Christians. And in this book, he provides a, a way forward in our present culture for Christians to uh, be true to our beliefs, be true to our faith, but also be culturally relevant in a way that uh, will surprise you, I think. The assignment rubric for the class is very straightforward. Weeks one through six, for the most part, we'll be reading half a book each week. There are two discussion posts that are designed to help you show your digestion of and your engagement with each of these textbooks. In addition, you'll be writing a reflection paper on each book, summarizing your major takeaways from that particular author. Uh, finally, at the end of the class, we'll be turning in a new church constitution final project. And this is a very unique part of this class and that we did not assign you a research paper, but instead a creative project that helps you think for yourself. And the question that you're trying to answer is, if I was starting and leading a brand new church, what would that church look like? Not only is there a helpful rubric uh, in the syllabus and in the course layout, but you'll also find some examples of church constitutions online that can help you get some handrails into the assignment. It's going to be a great journey together.